Hey guys, it's Barry with the Gibby Camper. So today we're gonna to do a project that's a little bit different. Uh, on our last camping trip that was a boondocking trip, I decided that we probably need to do something different with our converter. Uh, I didn't change the converter when I put the lithium batteries in. When I was trying to charge with the generator on top of the solar, it just didn't get us too far. So I decided to heed to the advice of others and upgrade the converter. Now this shouldn't be too hard of a job because all you do is you connect the ground you connect the dc wires that go to your batteries and you plug it in so i know what you're thinking that sounds like a lot easier project than you usually do and it would be easy except for the fact of it's hard to get to so in most units, it's going to be behind your uh, fuse box, fuse panel that has your, your fuses and your breakers in it. They also call that a power distribution center. Sometimes you're lucky and it's right underneath that. Mine's about a foot and a half behind that, just buried behind all the wires and stuff. So that's what's going to make it hard because basically it's just a little rectangle like this, but you got to get in there and you got to get these screws loose that hold it down. So we're gonna hope that that's not as big of an issue as it sounds like, or it looks like by when I looked at it the other day. But we're gonna prepare for the worst and figure we'll be here all day to do this 10 minute job. A few different reasons why you wanna change your converter, possibly. The newer converters that aren't standard still on a lot of campers are called uh, smart converters. Well, basically, they can change the voltage uh, based on your battery's charge level in order to charge them faster. This IntelliPower 9100, by the way, we are an Amazon affiliate now, and so I do have a link in the description here. But this IntelliPower 9100 has a maximum output of 14.6 volts, which your lithium batteries can handle fine, and they'll charge faster that way. The average converter that comes in your camper is going to be more like 13.4 something like that and so this 14.6 volts is supposed to make a pretty big difference with the charge this product had four and a half out of five stars on amazon reviews granted there was only 50 reviews there uh, but all of the reviews seem to be very highly favorable of this product one thing that i want to say is if you work on something like this you need to be sure you're not connected to shore power and that you disconnect the batteries should be uh, self-explanatory we just gotta take these four screws out all right so after you take those four screws out then there's four more screws on the sides here to take this power distribution center out in this particular camper once we have that power distribution center out of course it's not going to move far because all the wires but our converter is way back there in the corner under that pipe we'll see if we can see it better you can see just the edge of it on the very left side right under that vent but you can see where the converter plugs in in the back which just goes to this breaker some older rvs don't have the plugs um, so you can just put a receptacle in but all newer rvs i think have just a plug where it plugs in now you can see a little bit better now that i was able to move the wiring a little bit so the issue is going to be getting to all those screws that are back in there uh, holding it down to the deck finally got it out of there like i say that one was a beast i'm definitely not looking forward to getting this one back in so like i've said before you know this is the uh, progressive systems and telepower 9100 uh, versus the wfco 55 amp power converter and you can see on here the output on this one is 13.6 and the output over here is 14.6 and supposedly that's supposed to make a pretty big difference that mixed with the intelligent the smart converter so guys i got that converter in it was it's a really simple project but it was a bear just because of where it was i got everything buttoned up and finished up and now i remembered that i gotta go back in there because i knocked one of the vent hoses for the heat off and i gotta connect it back up because i forgot to when i put the cover back on so the takeaway is if you're going to do this it's easy 
depending on where the converter is. If you've got big old fat arms, it's hard to get both of them in there. The biggest problem out of all of that, truthfully, was getting to the screws that hold the converter down to the floor. When I first removed the old one, I finally got tired of messing with it because I couldn't get the screwdriver on there. So I just like, because they're, you know, the metal slides under the screw. Um, so if, you know, if your screw tips like this, metal slides under there. So I just yanked on it pretty hard and it loosened it up to come out. So then I was able to remove the screws. And then it was equally as hard to tighten the screws on the side that you couldn't see after we got the new one in. But besides that, everything's great. Uh, it's charging now. I've got the generator turned on and it's putting out 14.4 volts. It does a maximum of 14.6 and seems like it's just gonna do a better job for us. So if this is something that you did where you put in lithium batteries and you need to update your converter, I've heard conflicting stuff about the converter being bad for the lithium batteries. I don't really think that's the case, um, but I think that if you upgrade the converter, it will charge faster and be in your best interest. And if you spend all that money on lithium batteries, just go ahead and spend a little bit more for the converter that's gonna charge them the best, right? Hey guys, it's Bear with the Gimby Camper. I just wanted to take one second to say thank you if you're a member of our community. If you're not, please think about subscribing so that you can get our most up-to-date content as it comes out. Also, if you like our content, hit that thumbs up button because that lets YouTube share our videos to more people. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.